everybody, Coach Neil here again. And I got my friend Carrington Banks with me, Bellator fighter and future champ. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to be working on is a simple triangle setup from guard, okay? And this is going to be more of a reactive setup. We're doing something to make him react to set up the triangle. This is one of those things that you do when you, you know, forcing technique can be exhausting. So if you can't force the technique, you can't tie them up, you don't have to worry about doing much else. If you can just create, you can create a problem for him to solve, you can create some pain or pressure, wait for him to react to that and then react to him. Okay, so what we're gonna do, start from close guard. We're gonna do something similar to my handgun choke, okay? Instead of tucking the choke, we're gonna lock it right here. So I'm gonna basically be having his head, you'll probably be having a wrist control, and all you're gonna do is gonna go under and lock here, okay? Because I'm not tucking it, it will. there's a way to escape it. So right here, when I choke him, it will choke him, but what happens is this arm will go, it's gonna help him out, it's gonna go on top, of my arm and push the choke down to keep him from getting choked. So it's gonna save him. So when I hear, I go like that. See how he goes to block the choke. So when he goes to do that, he basically, he's taking his arm away from my leg and he's bringing it up, which clears the path for me to swing my leg over, okay? So when I'm here, I have the head, I lock the choke hard. As he comes up and pushes it down, my legs open up and I lock. Now, I still have his head here. Now, from this position, always make sure the leg that, you, the, that clears the arm, when you cross, is always on the bottom. If not, you'll feel the difference. Now, from here, the, when you do this, like for me, I always move my hips a little out because I like to tack the arm first. You can go straight to the triangle if you want, which would be like from here. You can keep your hand on the head or you can hook the shin and finish. But when I do a lot of times here, is their arm is either on the mat or it's doing something else. But my elbow's inside. So what I like to do is go to the elbow. Okay, so let's pivot a little bit. Okay, so uh, let's go to the, I like to go to the elbow. Now from here, as I pull it and I pummel underneath and I'm gonna lock my, my arm. You can stay two hands on it or I like to lock my arm right here under the elbow and crank. Okay, so this right here, it's just gonna give me a quick offense. And then while he's fighting that, it allows me to now blow, bring this across, grab my shin, pull it up, hook the leg, and finish the choke. Okay? So from here, I'm here, I lock my uh, choke, he clears it, I throw it up, keep my hand on the head. Now from this position, lock, pummel, crank, then drag across, and, and finish, okay? Now another option for this finish is something that depends what kind of triangle player you are. It'd probably be based on how long your legs are. Because I do the same setup, he goes to defend it, I throw my legs up. Now what happens, you see how his arms are to the outside? Sometimes guys are framing on you. I'll actually force the arm to the mat. I kind of like that because one, it gives him, it will make it harder for him to rip out. I got more control on him, I got more weight on him. And if you want, you can go straight to the TP finish, which I like a lot actually, or grab your shin, pivot, and then lock it with the arm on the outside and finish your triangle, okay? The TP finish, I like a lot. You just gotta bring him in nice and tight and then roll. Too many guys just do this, bring him in, pinch it tight, and then extend. That's gonna make the choke work way better. In other words, you're just grinding bones, okay? So when you go for that, you force the arm down. Don't just go here to stretch. There's a space between my, my groin and his body, and that's what I do, it's gonna make things weird. So from here, bring him in tight. So it screws up his posture. Now I roll my knees together, and then as soon as I stretch my legs, he's gonna tap. Okay, very good finish. Okay, so real quick, snatch it, counter, up, nope, there it is, force it down, now I lock, pull them in, bring my heels in, pinch my elbows, extend. Okay, it's a quick little triangle setup, nice little flow, and you guys can have some fun with that at home. 
Alright? So play around. Nice quick choke. Alright? Thanks guys. Have a good time.